Hello everybody, Joe here, and happy Tuesday. So we're talking about minimalism and my health, and I just try to be raw and real and honest. I had my appointment yesterday, and basically because my body is it normal and you can't do the normal things they basically wouldn't do anything and basically said come back in two months if it's still in two months and if it's still bad then they'll look at options but they basically wouldn't do what I asked for, which is to get an MR or a CT of my left side. So, that's that. I'm just gonna... Yesterday, I basically wanted to say screw it and just do things that I knew were bad for my body and just kind of let it go because... It's just, mental health wise, I was not in a healthy place. And I just was so angry and frustrated and... But... After I got some sleep and had a chance to calm down, I realized that... No, I can't let... this chronic health condition and my mental health get the best of me and I still need to take care of my body even if with this with having Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome your body always falling apart and doctors not understanding it just comes with the territory So, I'm going to keep taking care of my body. I'm going to keep being careful while this injury is going on. And monitoring it and hoping it doesn't get worse. Although kind of, part of me kind of does want it to get worse just because <sighs> then maybe a doctor would take me seriously. Because that's usually how it goes. Until something's, unless something's obviously really bad or really bad, usually they're like, you know, you can manage your symptoms on your own. So just take care of yourself. And if it gets to the point where you need to do something, we will. So that's what that's, 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 that's how that's going. I am, my apartment is currently a train wreck in preparation for moving on Friday and so I want to, and I said I would let you cut, um, show you guys what I'm getting rid of. So let's turn this camera around and show you the current state of things. So, cabinets, curtain is still up. So this table and the thing on top of the table I'm getting rid of case is basically empty focus camera focus my curtains both on the closet and here and the curtain rods I'm getting rid of the floating shelf I'm not keeping 
Um, but my usually normal tidy space is a complete disaster right now. Behind the chair, some more packed boxes. And then these curtains are still up. The wall hangings behind me are still up. Um, most of my kitchen stuff is packed. My closet basically looks the same as it did the last time I showed you guys the inside of my closet. My bathroom is... I'll show you guys what I'm getting rid of in the bathroom. Just a second. Sorry for all the moving and shaking. Oh, that light is bright. Okay. Ooh. Um. The toilet paper stand. I'm not keeping this shower curtain and hooks. I'm not keeping. My bathroom, it's still not packed, but it will take all like two seconds. And then, most of my utensils are packed. This cabinet is empty. Pantry is still stocked. Under the sink still has its stuff in it. Flatware is still out. This is condensed down. That's empty. Stuff is still on the counter. This it still has stuff in it. And then that stuff is still up there. So and then closet is still so thanks to my lovely lips had injury for the past two months things aren't as tidy or put together as I, as I would like them to be I mean, for moving, it's still really good. One tip I will have for moving is that using your towels and blankets and sheets that you don't need. And to wrap stuff in those is really helpful. And I mean, luckily I had enough rag towels and hand towels and dish towels and cloth napkins that, and I own so little that it just, it ended up working out. Bath towels and stuff. So, that is one advantage to having very few kitchen items is that and having very few towels and stuff is that when it comes time to pack and wrap things it just ends up walking out so I'm excited for the move it's gonna be good um
things have so it's gonna be weird not living with somebody again after living on my own for two and a half years but anyway it will it'll be good so so if you have any comments or questions you're more than welcome to comment below you can message me on Instagram you can email me um, if you like this video please like it if you're not thank you for everyone who's subscribed if you're not already subscribed and you watch some of my videos and you like my channel please subscribe it would be much appreciated And I think depending on what footage I can get Friday, I will I think it will probably be next Tuesday's video. So what I'll do is I'll try and get what moving vlog footage I can on Friday and make of it and have it be Tuesday's video. Or I'll just put out a bunch of shorts on Friday as things happen. And then talk to you guys next Tuesday about how the move went. If you have a preference between those two, please let me know. So please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you either Friday or next Tuesday. Bye!